Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor and I do acrylic painting lessons for the beginner. And I also teach in step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. And they are very simple and easy to follow techniques. So if you want to get started in painting with acrylics, you can look at all my, all my videos that I teach landscapes and seascapes. And then you can learn and ask questions and request any new paintings that you'd like me to teach you if you want me to teach you how to paint a cat or a landscape or seascape just let me know in the comments below so let's get started on painting now i just drew out my shark that we're going to put on there i drew it on a piece of paper so i can get the proportions correct and if you have a hard time drawing a shark just print off uh, something off the internet a picture of a shark and just Go by that or trace it if you have to so then when you get it drawn on your paper because no sense trying it on your canvas because if you fool up then you're stuck with it or you got to repaint your whole canvas so like in one of my other videos 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 i did some carbon paper this is the carbon paper okay buy it at the near stores um so i took that and taped it on and I put my carbon tape underneath here and then I just trace the outline with my pen and you might have pushed a little bit hard as long as it's not stretch canvas stretch canvas you gotta be careful you don't tear it so now you have your shark on there so now you can start painting the shark now this is the shark is a little big because I want this so you can see it and so first of all let's paint a little bit of a dark blue on top of the shark so just get um some dark blue paint you can make some dark blue by adding some uh, blue and red and make a really dark blue purplish color let's get this started here now so just use ultramarine blue and a little bit of red get it nice and dark I just want to get a get, and I only have a, a, a well this one's a filbert brush which is good and it's um sable and I'm just going to put some paint on this little guy could be a girl who knows all right so go down by the fin there we go and just put the dark blue on the body good 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 get in the fins here get this done first get the body done first one little piece at a time nice and nice and dark down here I'm going to work on that in a minute. So I'm just going to fill in the body part here. Your lines are there to help you keep your paint in the right places. Let's see if I'm keeping the paint in the right place now. Sometimes it gets confusing, so you're not the only one. You get a little confusing. Let's get this done. All right, stay inside the lines. That's what they told us when we were going to school, our little kids. Stay inside the lines. Here we go. Here we go. Now, if you lose the eye, you can always put it back in. But there's the eye. Good. So just get that on there. That's a good start. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of black to my blue just to darken it up. For the tail and for the fins just so i can separate them so i'll know where they are because i don't want them to disappear on me so just go ahead and put in your fin it's because they're a different color now than the body then you'll know where they are you won't you'll know where they begin where they end and all that good stuff so you just get that on there and there's the other fin here somewhere yep right here like I said it could get a little confusing if you lose your lines 
you really need to have a good drawing to get a good painting so make sure that you work on your drawing and get that done first and then you can trace down to your use my paper and carbon paper method all right there we go and what else do we need to do we have another fin over here we'll just put a little bit of dark on there just to uh, find out where it is good 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 now so and a little bit of um dark in the mouth so all we have to do is get a smaller brush just a nice little tiny little brush and put the dark blue in the mouth just line the mouth let's see let's see let's just put a, a dark line where the mouth is so we'll see it okay that brush wasn't quite thin enough that's okay i'll fix it i'll fix it now what we'll do next is we'll do the body underneath that's what we'll do next so we'll take some uh, let's see underneath we'll have a lighter body and we will put some blue ultramarine blue and some white brighten it up nice and bright okay even if you have to move away somewhere else if you can't get it really bright just move away from the paint so that you get too much paint and you can't seem to get it light just move around until you get the color you're looking for the lighter color okay that's good so then you put that on the body i will be doing some adjustments and everything so because the light is shining down on top of this little guy so we have to make uh, some highlights and stuff now let's go down around here fill in the body good as long as you get that shape getting the shapes it's only paint and brush you're using so you need to get those shapes and to get those shapes you need to paint three values we have our first values on now we're putting on two more let's get that around the nose down around here good good let's see what else we need to do we'll come up here but that's where his fins are but we'll come up here for now okay and look at some reference photos of sharks so you can get the colors the proper colors or you know at least where some some of the uh, lines go and and where the colors go and how it looks straighten up your lines if you didn't if they're crooked i think that's fine all right now let's put some really dark blue well almost black because I would say a little bit of blue and black more black than blue on your liner brush small liner brush the other brush I use is a little too big so make sure your brush is really tiny because you want to do it with the eye which is black so fill that in there and we will do the uh, fins and we will do let's see what can we do now black i'm just trying to find the black spots i don't see anything there right now okay so we'll go on to the next step so the next step is to um get a bit of light blue that you were using for the body but a little darker just a little bit darker because we're going to go inside the mouth so we'll go inside the mouth because that's where teeth are get a little bit of color in here just because we're gonna have, we'll probably darken it up a little bit you know because if that's where teeth are uh, we, and you want to see the teeth 
then you're going to need a darker color underneath the teeth aren't we there we go there we go so let's say the teeth are here and that there is part of the body here fill that in and I think I need to put that a bit wider for the teeth so let's widen that up a little bit here yeah let's let's widen up I think it looks better looks like uh, looks like a lipstick on okay fine and dandy so uh, the next step is so the next step why don't we do some dry brushing I'll make sure you can see this there we go hopefully it doesn't blur on you oh it looks like it's clear there now put a bit of white on your small flat brush a really small flat brush and a bit of white and the tiniest bit of blue and wipe it off in your tissue let's just do some dry brushing so we'll go on the top of this fin here and scratch on a white line on the very tip of the fin just scrub it on because you barely got any paint on your on your uh, brush there now so every time you put paint on wipe it off so it's not too much and then we'll get that highlight here on the tail and we have a dark value and now we're going into medium and then we're going to put on a really nice little bit of light up here because that's where the see where the uh, so you go pure white this time and you can see the light shining down on the tail oh sorry the fin good now where else would that light be shining how about a little bit of blue onto your white just to get it started for our second value and maybe there's some on the tip of his nose okay so put some on the very on that line that you made scrape it on scrape it on make sure your brush is nice and small see my brush might be a little too big for this although it's a small flat brush but i'd like to have it a little smaller and a little bit of a, a light blue again wipe it off don't forget to wipe it off because we're dry brushing right now we're just trying to get a second value Scrub it on. Scrub it on the top and bring it down into the body. Just to give it that more realistic look. All right. And now we will add our final highlight, which is pure white on top of the nose the head or whatever okay now like I said that brush is too big but it still looks good but um, always check your brushes you don't want to be stuck with something because of your brush okay so always check your brushes so I'm going to take some of that out because I think I've got too much white up there for myself good and then go ahead and take all the paint off your brush and scrub that scrub it right into the shark good so that gives it the, at least the three values and then it makes it look more natural now what else can we do let me see let me see how about maybe this fin down here might be a little lit up a little bit at least that way you'll be able to see it and see where it's too so just put on some paint okay you're dry brushing so don't put too much paint on your brush small flat brush wipe it off if it's too much and then scrub it in scrub 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 just so you can see that that you got your three you got dark and medium and light if you make it too light just go back in with some dark blue and put some more back in there so you may have to go back and forth to get what you're looking for 
that's okay. That's okay. See, uh, when you're painting, trying to do it just once, it doesn't work sometimes. So you have to go back and forth and back and forth. But that's coming along pretty good. All right. So let's put a little bit of white on a very light blue on a very small brush. And let's highlight here. Okay, that's not the right brush. Small flat brush that's nice and stiff so you can scrub it in. A little bit of white, a bit of blue. Wipe it off. I'll put a little bit of a highlight on the back here. Good. And a little bit here. Just trying to pick out places where I could use a little bit of highlight. And then wipe off your brush in case it's too much on there. And then just scrub it in. Scrub it in. There we go. Scrub it in. That way you can see the tail better and the fins. You also take your other liner brush, the smaller, skinnier one, and put a bit of light blue on there. And just put a little highlight on these fins here. A little bit. And a little bit around the eye. Just so the eye will stand out more. See? See how those little highlights bring everything out? Good. Now let's try to put some teeth in this little guy. Let's see now. How about we just put in some little streaks of white. So let's get some white on the tip of your very small thin liner brush. And just make a couple of little teeth. A little streak here and a little streak there. There we go. That should do it. So you look at your reference photo and make sure that your teeth are good. Oh, cool teeth. Now, good. 